All right, Scope TV, part two. Artificial, live and direct on the phone from Miami. Logics, you still with us tonight? I'm still here, man. All right, man, we appreciate that. Now, do the MCs in the group and the musicians in the group, like, do the MCs appreciate jazz and do the do the musicians appreciate hip hop? How does how does that work? Um, yeah, but I just I can say like we, we can never appreciate jazz to the extent that they do because you know, they're approaching it from uh, from almost from like an insider's perspective. And uh, I think it's the same way, you know, the other way around. I I know they like some hip hop, but you know, we grew up on that stuff and it's, it's that stuff is something that's, you know, part of our lives, so I know there's appreciation for both musics, but uh, I think, you know, we as MCs appreciate hip-hop more, and it's something, you know, that we listen to on a daily basis, and, you know, I know they appreciate uh, jazz on a different level than we do, you know? Mm. Now, with so many bands out there, some good, some not so good, uh, how do you guys make sure that bands like yourself that are definitely on the on the good spectrum that you guys uh, get recognized for your skills and and stand out amongst all the MySpace bands and the pure volume bands? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, basically we we just try to make the most noise that we can. Uh, we try to put ourselves out there. You know, every opportunity we have, we try to get in front of people's faces because you know uh, people. Lots of people tend to appreciate uh, new things, you know, things that sound good to them, uh, especially today where, where everything's very uh, monotone, a lot of the music sounds the same, it's coming from the same channels, it, you know, it looks the same, so um, so I think people, you know, appreciate when you hit them with something a, a little different, and so we just, we're just really trying to get in people's faces with it, and... Um, and you know, trying to trying to tell them, you know, listen, give us give us a chance. Listen to one song, two songs, you know, make your judgment. And um, you know, so we at that point have you know like a, a couple of minutes to convince them that we're good, and hopefully they like what they hear, you know. And we've gotten a lot of positive responses, so that's how we're trying to you know push this forward. Just getting in people's faces and, and telling them, look, you really got to listen to this. Makes sense. One. You know, being over at Scope, we uh, we pride ourselves and we cover uh, diverse music coverage. And, and what I really appreciated about you guys is, is the diversity of the band. Not only the diversity of the music, but just really the, the diversity of the members of the group. And how would you say that that, that just really shows just how, what, a, what a connector music is. And, and just how, how, how music just really brings people together. Has, how does that play into, uh, into the into the, the proportions of the band? Well, I mean, um, the majority of us are, are Hispanic, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, we live in Miami, which is, is, is like a capital city for, for, it's almost like part, part of South America in a way, and it's almost like part of, the, uh, part of the Caribbean in a way. So we have, you know, like crazy amounts of culture here. And, um, and you just get used to, you know, interacting with different cultures every day and, and, um, you know, so you might come to a live show and, and you might have a little, you know, segment where we're playing Latin music just for a little bit, you know, just to show you where we're from. And my saxophone player is actually from Boston mm. and, uh, and from New York. So, you know, we basically just, I don't, you know, we come together. We, we appreciate each other's cultures. And I think it, break, it brings a little uh, something extra to the band. Because, um, you know, we're bringing things from different countries, even if it's not directly, if it's, you know, from our parents, from what we learn from them. So I think, you know, that adds a little something extra to the music. It's, it's in a way, you know, coming from, from something that's a little foreign to the, to the States, but it's familiar, you know? I think that's great. Now, you being one of the two MCs in the group, have you and the other MC ever, like, um... Uh, done a hip-hop track without the jazz? Has that been something that you've considered putting out a single uh, without the jazz in the background? Well, um... Doing a more traditional hip-hop beat? Well, I mean, yeah, when we were in a group together, we, we did songs that were just, you know, just straight-up beats, straight-up uh, hip-hop production. And, um, you know, we're, we are considering... We're releasing an album soon. It'll probably be out in the summer. And um, it's going to be kind of like 
like our first official introdu- introduction to the U.S. public. We did release an album in Japan uh, last year, you know, but it was it was exclusive to them. So some of the tracks have leaked on the internet, and people have become familiar with them. And um, you know, we just want to hit the the public with something that major introduction. So we're working on that, and we might be working on a promotional kind of mixtape that we want people to hear. And then you know, there you're gonna hear a mix of all types of stuff of like what we could do lyrically of what we sound like over over beats instead of over a live band and um you know that that should be something that the people can expect uh to hear and it's gonna you know have a, a whole bunch of different stuff that's it's gonna sound you know a little different from the album and it's gonna be a little different from your traditional mixtape too that's tight now we got about two minutes left and i got about one question left so let's nail it here let's really bring it home where can the people out there get more from Artificial? And I just want to specify the spelling. It's art and official. All one word. I just want everybody at home to be clear on that. What's coming up for 2009? Where can we find you? MySpace, Sonic Bids, uh, where are you going to be playing live? What's really happening with Artificial? What's going down? Okay, 2009, you can expect a new album in the summer called Misfits, Scholars and Mystics. You can find us basically if you search Google... A-R-T-O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L. Just type it in there. A bunch of things will pop up. Or you can go to artificialmusic.net. Uh, you can expect, uh, you know, if everything goes well, maybe a tour of Japan. You know, possibly a tour of the rest of the country, West Coast, East Coast. And, um, you know, you can expect a mixtape that has no title yet. And, uh, you know, hopefully um, we'll move up, you know, from, from where we're at. That's beautiful. Everybody, go out and check out Artificial. These guys really got something special. Can I thank you enough, Logics? Scope TV, your host, Mikey Freed, signing off. Have a good evening, everyone.